Well, that figure, 0.6 degrees, is only an average. While some places have cooled a little, some, like the Arctic, have warmed by up to three degrees. Here, the frozen surface of the sea creates a highly specialized environment. And an extraordinary range of animals have evolved to live both above and below the ice. But the Arctic is now melting so fast that the whole intricate web of wildlife is under threat. And no species is more at risk than the animals at the top of the food chain, the polar bears. The turn of the year is when females give birth to and raise their cubs. By this time, mothers will not have eaten for many months, and yet they now have extra mouths to feed. Their main prey are seals, but they can only hunt before the ice melts. When it does that, they must come ashore with all the reserves they'll need to raise their cubs. And on land, there are no seals to hunt. Now, because the ice is melting earlier each year, Mothers are going hungry and are less able to provide for their cubs. In Hudson's Bay, Dr. Nick Lunn sets out each spring to track down the polar bears and check on their health. The team has to work quickly to make their checks on the bear family before the mother wakes up. 24 and a half pounds for cub one. On, a, on larger bears, uh, we take the weight and their length and we calculate what we call a body, body condition index. It's essentially the weight of the bear divided by its length squared. And it gives us a means to compare bears uh, between years, over years. Uh, what condition they're in when they come ashore and we found that over the past uh, 25 years or so that the condition of these bears is declining. Cub 2, straight line length, 0, 6, 9. Here we've got a female with a triplet litter. It's a very rare sight to find triplets in the fall time. One of the cubs is, is a runt of the litter, it's not likely to survive. 20 years ago it wasn't all that uncommon to find triplets in the fall. About 5% of the bears we caught, our females with cubs, had triplets. We're seeing triplets born in the spring, but we're not, uh, one or more of those cubs is not making it through to the fall. We're seeing reductions in cub survival, things of that nature, all related to climatic warming. The ice is now melting three weeks earlier each year. That means that there is three weeks less feeding time for pregnant mothers. Once they come ashore and the sea ice melts, the bears are forced to fast for anywhere from four months for most bears up to eight months for a female such as this bear here who would have come ashore last summer and has not had a seal meal since last July. If the current warming trend continues, the future looks bleak for polar bears.